Lil Kim gets money. Literally gave away money and there's nothing. But one business owner is accusing the Queen Bee of cheating her at a $25,000 and now she's filing a lawsuit. It's a case that's all about the Benjamins. I'm Justin Carter, this is TSR Investigates. There's no doubt Lil' Kim is a music legend and she is busy, but one woman says it is no excuse for the money that Lil' Kim took from her to promote her popular shapewear line. Paige Wallace owns the shapewear and waist trainer line. It's called No Waste Allowed and has successfully grown her business in just over a year. Well, I built like a million dollar company in about 13 months. Part of that success is because of a marketing strategy that includes hiring celebrities to try out her products and then they post about them. It's gonna have you right. I mean, look at it. Yeah. It has a butt lift, lifts you up real nice. They, they post to their followers and their followers is like, well, I know if you like it, I wanna like it. So in July, 2021, she got Lil' Kim on board to do a video and paid the rapper $20,000. Look at that, sucking me in so good. Keeps everything nice and flat. Uh, the post did pretty well. Um, I have gotten more from, from a post for less but it did, I got my money back, so I wasn't really complaining. Um, and it was like an honor to do a post to Lil' Kim anyway. Needless to say, she booked Lil' Kim again, but this time it was for two videos for a cost of $25,000 cash. The videos were shot, but never posted. And that was six months ago. What were some of the reasons why they said that they would not post it? Um, I get, I get um, responses like, Oh, she's busy. She hasn't had time to edit. Um, she can't post because someone died. So she has to pay her respects to this post, this person first. Oh, well, she has to post a flyer today. Wallace says she flew to Lil' Kim to assist with the video shoot. But when the weeks turned into months and there was no post, the truth came out. They told me it was about the appearance. And I, you know, I, I even offered to, to come back to where she is, wherever she was at the time, to re-record the video. And I was denied you know, for that. She says she was denied a refund by Lil' Kim's management and the video they shot is now so old that Wallace doesn't even have inventory to sell what Lil' Kim was promoting. And there also isn't a signed agreement either that lays out terms specifically addressing how they should move forward. What exactly was it about these videos that she didn't like? Um, I believe the issue was with the face and I understood that, like all women go through that. Everybody has their thing. She makes her money my, her way and the way I make my money is from my business and I never wanted it to be negative because I don't have a plan B. This is all I have. This is like my baby. We tried reaching Lil' Kim's management by phone. Please leave your message for no response. A lawsuit now filed in New York City accusing Lil' Kim and her team of breach of contract, unjust enrichment, and deceptive business practices. The suit is for $75,000 in damages and economic injuries. And right now, like that's money that I, that I love to give another influencer or another celebrity. I need to, I need to free my money back up. My I have money on hold. I need to free myself back up. Um, and I just need to be able to make moves. I took the case to entertainment attorney Daryl Cohen, who says there is a lesson here for both sides. He says, first, never use cash. You need to have a way of tracking what you've done. And just because she says that she paid her $25,000 in cash, how do we know that's the case? Maybe she didn't. Maybe she did. So you don't use cash. You try to have a written agreement. It doesn't have to be done by a lawyer. It doesn't have to be complicated, but a very basic written agreement that in exchange for X amount of dollars, you agree to do this. Cohen says credit cards or checks are always a good thing to do with transactions like these. He also says that these types of disputes are growing just in the rise of businesses using social media as a marketing tool. He says that contracts can be simple, just a signed document from both sides. He says that will always protect you. For TSR Investigates, I'm Justin Carter. Hello roommates and thank you for watching our YouTube channel. Do you want more TSR Investigates? Be sure to subscribe and check us out at theshaderoom.com.